I will give. Just change this one. Okay, just save it. The parameters I have, I just changed. Then now the proposal run. Now system will allow now. Select start immediate. Now see, now system is not stopping. Keep on press enter or status. You just refresh it. Keep on refresh. Now payment proposal has been created. Now just go and display the proposal. In this proposal, we will come to know whether system has been picked all the line items or not. Now let me go back. See 4 lakh 99,000. Okay, four lakh forty nine thousand nine ninety nine. But only system has been picked up. Okay, system here the system is processing three lakh forty nine thousand. Okay, nine ninety nine. One is a two lakh fifty thousand nine lakh nine ninety nine. But what about other document? Why system it is not picking this one? Means the meaning here is that now you can see this is the not due. The line item is not due. Then what is the due date of this one? See, we have given zero zero eighteen. Okay, yesterday we have posted the document. Means the document will be due until we have 30 days means this document will be considered next payment run only now this document it is not part of our payment run because the line item the document it is not yet due now you can see the document it is not yet due but this document it is immediate due this is already overdue so that is the reason these two documents the system has been determined for this payment run now see two payment methods it has been determined now let us double click this one See now you can see here the payment method which we have configured payment method B house bank is the city bank. Then this is the from this bank account. We are making the payments. Remember from this bank account. OK, we are making the payments. <coughs> OK, so this is the important one then. OK, so what we have done, we have done the configuration. OK, then then based on our configuration, the system is performing the payments. Now go back. Go back. Now the proposal run is a successful. If you want to see the proposal log also, OK, then click on click on here. Now you can see here proposal log <laughs> due date determination. All the information will be available here. OK, then go back. Even you can able to see the proposal run log here also. OK, if you are not able to see over there now after once this will be done then click on the payment run this is the final payment run then we must have to select the start immediate option then enter refresh it now two generated two completed means the system has determined the two documents for payment run two documents has been cleared okay now system has been cleared now if you want to come back and see the additional log the payment run option now you can see this is the document what it has been 2 lakh 50 thousand 1 lakh 999 so okay, for this document the system has posted the okay the the system this is a 4009 40010 what you can see here okay the dog the system has been posted the okay document now if i come down and and list refresh it see the two documents which were cleared by the system let me go back display the all items now you can see one is a two lakh fifty thousand rupees then another one is a nine 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 okay for this documents okay for this documents now you can see the system has been clearing document system has been cleared with the okay this is these are the documents what system this is the document four zero zero nine four zero zero ten what it has been posted by the system now you can see the documents four zero zero ten is there okay four zero zero nine is there four zero zero nine these are the clearing documents okay now the clearing documents is fine okay now the system has been cleared the document by f110 now go back now which i want to check print out okay which i want to okay take the print out okay print check print out option then go to the payment method option <laughs> okay sorry print out data medium option then Select this one RFF OUS underscore C. Okay, RFF OUS underscore C, the option. Okay, this is the one. Then, then give the variant, any one, the variant I am giving the variant. Okay, give any name. Okay, then click on maintain variants option. Then here, give the, the run date. What we have run 22. 08 
sorry, 09-2022. We ran the payment. What is the identification? GE0, sorry, GE01T we ran. Okay, what is the company code? Here is the, for earlier I have already mapped variant. So that is the reason system is picking the old one. Okay, the GE01. Then payment method, which I will give is the B, the payment method. Then here the bank accounts. I will give, this is the bank account. Then this is the bank account. Then the check lot number. The check lot number, it is not available. I will create the check lot number. Slash N. Okay, here I'm going to create the check lot number. Creation check, create check information. Okay, okay, check lots. It's not F110. I will go here, then I will create the environment check information number and I'll maintain the check number. Enter change status then one is a non sequential the non sequential option system will not uh, system will not consider then I want to create the the new one check lot two I will give I will give next one is a zero one two five hundred I will give it's a non sequential it's not applicable okay then Purchase date I will give 2209-2022. I will give today's date. Then save it. Then come back here. Now system will show the check lot number. Then now other I mean <laughs> other parameters. Okay, we don't want to change. I don't want to change other parameters are same. Okay, do not wide any check. Then save this one. Then go back. Then save once again then go back now come to the printout okay now the variant we have specified now click on the printout option start immediate here i'll give is a g1 the payment the parameters which has been printed now either you can go from here system 